guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be reviewing the all new 1942 retro arcade machine at a pine cent scale by Replicade. Now we've reviewed a variety of different products from them including all these different arcade machines and this one here is their latest edition based off of the 1942 arcade game. Now I'm really excited to see exactly what this all is all about just mainly the fact that they go into a lot of details to miniaturize a real scale version of it to make something very unique. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And in this episode here, I'll be unboxing it, trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is our packaging. This here is our box. Looks really cool. Looks very retro. Shows you the 1942 kit right here and 1943. Includes bonus 1943 arcade stick for two player gameplay action. Uh, as we kind of rotated it about, it stands about 11 inches, so equivalent to these other ones that we reviewed previously. Uh, and, and this one here includes the two arcade games. And then as you kind of rotate it even further, talks about the variation of features, accessories, etc. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So let's open this thing up and see what's on the inside. So we do have ourselves a instruction manual, um, as well as some Sticker. It looks like it's top secret sticker is here. And then we also have some coins. So this here says top secret, eliminate all the planes in red formation to reveal POW. Fly over power to obtain extra firepower. So this is almost like a cheat sheet. So that's kind of cool. So you just kind of mount that onto there. And then it even comes with these miniature sized coins. So that's actually really cool. Um, so we also have our instruction manual. So this one here is just a very simple, uh, Looks like New Wave Toys uh, instruction manual here. And then let's take a look at the actual arcade machine. Controller right over here. So this will be designed to play 1943. So two player account action. All right, and then we have our standard USB-C to USB cable to charge it, uh, as well as our USB-C to USB for our separate controller. Wow, they really upped it up this time, mainly because it's made out of real wood. This this here is a real wood finish, uh, basically based off of the real thing. And then obviously the design of it is a little bit different than some of our other arcade machines, mainly because it's matching the original design concept. And then you do have the nice looking screen. You have your fire button, you have your loop button, Play one, play two. Even the coin slot here on the bottom looks really nice. And that is actually gonna be our up and down button to add credits. Um, and then on the back here, you do have your power button, your volume, um, and then you have your dual speakers, uh, which on the bottom here, you have our USB slots here, it says pilots, as well as charge. And then it says HDMI, change TV display setting to fit, see more manual. So it does have an HDMI port too, which is great. Now it says danger, high voltage inside. <laughs> so I guess identical to the original, very cool. So let's go ahead and boot up this guy next and try it out. The red light is on, meaning that it is booting up. All right, starts off with our new wave logo. 1942, insert coin. So we'll just hit up. Okay, we're gonna hit one player. All right, let's try this out. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so we're currently flying. Oh no, I'm getting the planes. Come on, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh, just got blown up there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and continue. So you have your flip button, so you can avoid. Uh, you have a loop button here to dodge those other planes while you're doing it. So you do like these little tricks. Ooh, I got hit there. Again, very cool, very unique. Um, and I like the way they made this, mainly because you have the light up marquee in the top. Uh, you have this joystick, which is a little bit different than the other models. Um, the buttons are more of a matte color than a high gloss compared to some of the other models that we've seen. And you can see that they're using a variation of different materials, which is great and it's quite period correct distinction. Uh, so let's go ahead and, so if I go to game selection, I can go to 1943, 
There we are. And now I can play this game. So this here is a newer version of the original. Uh, and you have the one player and two player. Uh, two player works quite simple. So you just take your uh, second controller and then we'll be taking our cable, uh, plug it in the back and then plug this into this back. And now I can go ahead and hit two players and play two players. All right, so we have two planes going now. <laughs> this is awesome. You can play both at the same time. So 1943 is definitely a lot more better, at least in my perspective, in terms of quality, graphics, and gameplay. <laughs> but again, you know, this is obviously for nostalgic value. So very cool stuff, very, very fun. And that is that in more or less the gist of it. Now I did wish they had a slot on the back to kind of hold this in place, kind of like how they had that for the Street Fighter. That's actually a really nice placeholder for the controller, but I guess maybe they were limited on space. Not too sure to be exactly honest. But yeah, other than that, I think it's actually a great nostalgic piece and makes a great addition to the rest of our arcade cabinets. And with that said, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.